looked at the U.S.'s human rights record. The U.S. no longer holds a strong human rights record and is no longer the international defender of human rights it used to be. Having stood down from the United Nations Human Rights Com Council and having imprisoned so many asylum seeker children in terrible conditions, as well as their refoulement policy and the treatment of black Americans, this makes the U.S. no longer a, safe def a defender of human rights. And factor number four, the safe country agreement still holds. However, this provision is self-providing um, in the sense that the safe country agreement can exist by the virtue of the fact that there is a safe country agreement. Therefore, while factor one is satisfied and by default factor four is also satisfied, both factors two and three are not satisfied and therefore the US should no longer be considered a safe country for refugees and Canada should withdraw from the agreement to enable them to take asylum seekers not being protected by the US. Like the US, there has been a substantial activist movement in Canada. There are many campaigns and groups working to improve refugee rights in Canada, especially to have Canada um, to withdraw from the safe third country agreement. Politicians like the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau may be considered activists for, um, for refugee rights. Justin Trudeau criticised the US's practice of separating migrant children from their parents. The Canadian Council for Refugees is a very good example of an activist group who have, protecting, who have been attempting to protect refugee rights. They have been influential in opposing the agreement. They believe the US is not a safe country for all refugees and disagree with the purpose of the agreement. They have frequently called on the Canadian government to end the agreement and have brought forward multiple legal cha challenges, including a successful challenge in 2004, <clears throat> in which the federal court judge ruled the US unsafe and launched another challenge in July 2017. The 2017 legal challenge involved the Canadian Council for Refugees, the Canadian Council of Churches and Amnesty International, supporting a woman fleeing El Salvador, who fled to the US and then tried to enter Canada to seek asylum as she worried filing a claim in the US had a higher risk of being detained and deportation, where she and her children had been um, terrorised by gang members in their original country. However, the Canadian Ministry responded to the challenge by arguing the agreement helps manage refugee claims and acts as a deterrent against asylum shopping. They launched their um, Refugees Welcome Here campaign, including an outreach toolkit, infographics, Refugee Rights Day and instructions on how to lobby, lobby a local MP. They have also submitted a 52-page brief to the government contesting um, the US as a safe third country. Another influential group has been the Canadian Civil Liberties Association. They have placed ads in the Globe and Mail and the National Post, advocating for hashtag no discrimination against refugees and to explain what Trump's travel ban means for refugees. Their demands have been substantially discussed during the emergency debate held by the Canadian Parliament on January 30th, 2018. They call for the agreement to be suspended and for procedures to be created to process asylum seekers affected by Trump's travel ban. They also call for the increase of refugee numbers accepted by Canada, a review of the information sharing agreements between Canada and the US, and to assist anyone stranded at airports and train stations as a result of the travel ban. Other influential groups include the Canadian Cross-Border Legal Coalition, including the Refugee Hub, the Canadian Association of Refugee Lawyers, the British Columbia Civil Liberties Association and law students, Amnesty International Canada, the Canadian Union of Public Employees, and US advocates have also campaigned to the Canadian government, including researchers from Harvard who sent a letter to um, the Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and the Minister of Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship, Ahmed Hassan, to urge the Canadian government to halt the agreement. I hope I have made it clear to you today that the consequence of the US's refugee rights violations means that Canada is also re violating refugee rights by virtue of the Safe Third Country Agreement. However, both countries have substantial refugee um, activist groups who are working to undermine this agreement and the refugee rights violations. Help out with their campaigns.